All right, hey guys, Shane Rio2 here from the Vonnie Podcast, uh, providing a uh, an update on the homestead, uh, which I've been asked about many times, uh, but hardly ever fulfill, um, mostly because you know the work's being done. But this is one of those cases where proof of work might be a good thing, and just to show you what what the f is going on here, uh, and what we're doing. So um, basically, here I'm just gonna uh, you know play this video and, and kind of narrate, um, and uh, that will be the gist of this. Um, all right, so we're starting out here. This is the uh, the big shed um, where you know we'll have uh, you know female lambs, female goats, things like that, and specific nutrition they'll they'll be routed in there. But this is the expanded fence, um, I guess, going down the line here uh, towards the the dam of the pond, uh, which we'll see momentarily. But uh, in essence, we're trying to give them more more areas to graze as we we expand. Uh, but yeah, uh, right now you're seeing there'll be a small, you know, grass, uh, there'll be fences along the side of where that, that rock ends. Um, but yeah, to, to uh, you know, wear down their hooves, um, which is necessary if you have lambs and, and goats. Um, and then, uh, yeah, also to help with washing, because just shit, you know, as they, you know, you got 20 lambs or something, tromp, you know, tromping through somewhere and shit gets a little muddy. Um, it's uh, muddy real quick. Uh, but yeah, really at this point we went, we went down the dam and now we're going towards these corner posts. Um, we're doing this kind of in stages. Um, those are the, the, the corner posts of, I guess, the first stage of fencing. Um, there's another one off to the right and then uh, coming up on the right in the view now. Um, and then we're heading back towards, um, towards where we came from and we're going to jump momentarily to a pond view from the opposite side so you can see uh, kind of what we're looking at here. Right, right there along the dam is where that, that fencing is. And playing it again because it was a short B-roll flip. I should have done one longer, but anyway, now we're heading back down. Um, so we got to keep the the lambs and the goats, you know, far enough off the dam where they don't wash, so it doesn't wash. Because um, having a leaky dam is no good. Um, so yeah, th this is basically just uh, you know where where the rhino is driving down now is essentially where you know they'll they'll go out to pasture uh, is kind of the point. And yeah, like I said, there's going to be st we're doing the stage one right now, which is about halfway through that first field. Um, and then, uh, yeah, in the fall, hopefully we'll finish off, um, you know, that fencing, but, um, holy shit, <laughs> when you try to fence off, you know, this amount of, you know, area and do it, you know, correctly, um, to make it like a 50 year forever fence, um, yeah, shit gets expensive. So it's gotta be done in stages. Um, but thankfully we've been, you know, all of our, pretty much any time you come out to Pasnia and you buy anything here, for the most part, that just goes into the Pasnia fund for, for improvements on the project. And, um, thankfully a lot of that, a lot of those funds have, you know, gone towards, towards that. Um, but there's the proof of work. Um, I don't want to ramble and, and make this, you know, super, super long, but, um, yeah, really that's, that's the, the biggest thing is, you know, we're the, the biggest couple points of self-sufficiency now, or I guess, you know, we're, we're focusing on obviously the gardens every spring, but, um, the bigger projects are, you know, the pond and getting all this fencing, um, all the fencing done so we can give them more pasture. And, and yeah, obviously the end goal, uh, you know, putting all this money into fencing and things is, um, yeah, it'd be great to have, you know, like a, you know, a set of 50 lambs a year or something, um, maybe a couple sets of lambs a year. Um, where, you know, you take uh, 50 of them to live auction, um, and you obviously don't get as much as, as you would if you just process them and did all that yourself, but, um, you can just, you know, live without having to process them or anything and just get, you know, two, $2 or two fifty a pound. Um, it's like shit. Yeah. Especially if it can be totally free and they're just on pasture essentially. So, um, anyway, that's, that's what's happening here. I'm wishing you all a uh, joyous and liberated day, wherever you are. Pasnia.com is, uh, to get the place to go for all things of free republic. And if you want to join the second realm, uh, VonniePodcast.com for all things Vonnie and, and conversations on self-liberation. And then uh, if you want to, uh, you know, go find the material uh, that will help you uh, on your path to liberation, LibertyAntertack.com is a place to go for that. Uh, you can find books, uh, audiobooks, um, strategy guides, all sorts of stuff in, in that area, you know, the, the knowledge necessary for, for, for self-liberation. Um, and then, uh, yeah, beyond that, even some, some tools, uh, health and wellness tools like uh, the Pain Liberator, uh, Miracle pain reliever solution that's uh, my, my first actual wellness i guess uh product so to speak um or as apothecary items are on there and uh we've got some pasnia farms canned goods uh from you know last year and uh there'll be plenty more this year so um anyway thank you so much for your time today guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this uh this short update from the homestead and uh yeah until next time cheers <laughs>